In the sociable, tree-lined streets of this Joburg neighborhood, Ebrahim and Tasneem Samodin have found their home. In their 12-year marriage, they've lived at six different addresses from Cape Town to the UK. But this cottage-style house is for keeps. Ibrahim, after moving so many times, you and your family decided to rather just build your dream home. What made you choose this area? Jade, can you believe we've moved seven times? Um, and when we saw this neighborhood, we fell in love with it. It's got that little Chelsea feel to it. And since we've lived in London, it was exactly what we wanted. It's right by the river. It's just really amazing and peaceful. What did you and your family envision for a home? We wanted a place where we could raise a family. So we wanted something that would be warm, practical, something where we could see our kids running around, and something where we could really enjoy spending our time together. The couple replaced their old furniture, choosing to have everything custom made for the new place, and asked interior designer Jason Bricknell to guide them. On the outside, you see this very traditional cottage, and when you come inside, it's so modern and new. Well, exactly. So we've kept with the original architecture, but then done something a little bit more unexpected inside, um, a little bit more glamorous, a little bit more elegant. So it helps to transition from perhaps traditional to more modern feel. And to create that modern feel, what we've done is this was three separate rooms. We've opened up the space, we've added in the bulkheads with the downlights and the LEDs just to give it more of that warm feeling of a home. And although you know, we've done that and opened up the space, it's always important to create and define separate areas. So as you'll notice, the entrance kind of guides you into the basic look and feel of the home. So we have incredibly gilded gold mirror, we have a simple marble console with a composition of objet, and then to define the space, we've got a, you know, a screen that's see-through, but helps to contain the area and the entrance and make sure that this is where you greet your guests and where the home starts off from. Decor-wise, you've really made a bold statement. Funny thing, Jade, is that this is not where we started. So we actually started on something a lot more traditional. And what Jason did was he opened our mind in terms of the art of the possible. So he really inspired us to be a bit more brave in terms of exploring what we wanted. So well, exactly. So the point when you move into a new space, you only know what you know. So the, I love it when my clients have an evolution of their style where they kind of discover more and learn more about themselves with a new space that they're in, a new energy, new space, new style. Jason's designs are influenced by the style and rich materials of 1920s Art Deco. This lends strong form to the brass accents and colour which the Samodins wanted. You've seen we've used a lot of brass in this space. For instance, we have this incredible chandelier in the brass, which is the access for this entire space. And from there, you know, everything else is diluted in terms of the brass, the bold colours, and especially on the dining room table, we had these incredible blue chairs with a texture on the fabric so that we don't overdo too much pattern and fabric in one space. So while it makes a really bold statement, we really enjoy entertaining, so it's also a space where we spend a lot of time with our family and friends. A glass top ensures the table doesn't dominate the space and the sideboard backs onto the sofa to define the lounge. Gentlemen, it's so interesting to see how you've made the patterns and various textures all work together so well. You've really made some brave choices here. Thanks, Jade, but there's a reason behind it. So as you've seen, we've gone for quite a bold color sofa, which complements the brass in the house. And to add to that formality, we've gone for a really bold black and white wallpaper, which again complements the black and white on the sofa and also helps to focus the attention on the fireplace in this space. And the fireplace is the one part down here that was from the original house. We just fell in love with it and really wanted to keep that classic feel combined with a more modern design. It looks fantastic, but I see you actually have two lounges here. What we did here was we tried to go for his and hers. So you've got, well, you've got the guys here on a Sunday afternoon watching the football, you've got the ladies over here relaxing, watching, having some tea or coffee. So as you can see, we've gone for a little bit more of a subtle space with the green being a little bit more feminine, but still sexy and helps to tone with the rest of the space. We've got brown sofas, which are practical for the kids. And also then that turns in with the wooden floor and then the green rug, which helps bring all the space together and help to create the family room. It's not colors that we would have easily have chosen and it took quite a lot of convincing. But when, the end, when we saw the end product, it was something spectacular. Well, we've covered downstairs. Let's go have a look upstairs. Come check it out. Being an old house, they had to gut the interiors and redo floors, electrics, plumbing, ceilings and wall finishes. After that, the couple needed some peace and quiet. And Jason obliged with a room for them to take shelter from the storm. This room has a much softer feel to it. 
Well, exactly. So being the bedroom, we need to invoke serenity, peace, calmness. So we've gone for a more muted, but still a sophisticated palette in here. So we've gone for a taupe headboard. Obviously the luxury of the velvet invokes a little bit more of that special feeling being the main bedroom of the home. We've got art, we've got mirrors to help create the spatial orientation to make it look a bit bigger. And also we have beautiful light that we want to complement. So that all helps with the gray, the taupe, and then the brass that comes through again, which is a theme that runs through the home. Ibrahim, I have to compliment you on the artwork. It's absolutely stunning. Thanks, Jade. My wife chose it. Choosing what goes in your bedroom is never easy. We wanted to go with something that's quite subtle but intimate at the same time. What space did you enjoy working on the most in here? So the bathroom in the main ensuite is actually a stunning area as well because you spend a lot of time in it. So we've gone for a bold contemporary feature tile on the shower wall and we've incorporated that design to replicate that on the mirrors in the vanity. In the UK, knowing they'd return to South Africa, the Samodins bought DIY kit furniture. Being able to fit the elegant permanent joinery in the dressing room was a way of affirming this is where they'll stay and raise their sons Imad and Raid in a fantastic Jurassic Park meets Boys in the Hood style room. Guys, this graffiti is so cool. I love the graffiti. I mean, the colors are everything, especially for a young boys' room. It's really cool. And we blended that well with very simple, very uh, minimal furniture, which helps to balance the room out to give them more fun and enjoy the space. What was really awesome was they didn't know about it. So when they first walked in here, they were both like, whoa! <laughs> and truth may be, I think I was reliving my childhood. <laughs> While these young dinosaur enthusiasts can now enjoy 12 months a year of outdoor playtime, being born in London makes them just as comfortable playing indoors. Welcome to the Pajama Lounge. This is the room where we spend most of our time in. It's where we retreat in the evenings and the kids absolutely love it because it's a real boy space. I think this is my favorite room in the house. I love how you've made it so comfortable yet keeping it stylish at the same time. Thanks, Jade. So we've gone for larger format furniture, which helps to maximize the usage of the space. The blue color again, which ties in with the boy theme we have going up here. And then we've also got two functional areas. We've got the homework section, and we've got the family space as well. I think these ottomans are super funky. I'm not sure if it's for your feet or for your food though. Well, it's for both actually. So when you're not using it as a coffee table, you can put your feet up on it because that's the beauty of customized furniture. And that's what we've done with the rest of the house made the furniture for the space as opposed to the other way around. Before they could offer nine-year-old Imad and seven-year-old Raid this lifestyle, Ebrahim and Tasneem's first home was a one-bedroom apartment. All they could afford was a mattress on the floor and a couch. So life has improved. Boys, what do you love most about your home? I like swimming, soccer, and playing with my brother. Upstairs in the pajama lounge, I like reading, drawing and playing video games. It's so lovely out here. I'm sure you can't wait for summer to come again so you can spend more time outside. Absolutely. It's one of our favorite parts of the house. We spend a lot of time out here in the winter and the summer. We love relaxing, watching the boys play football, taking a nap. It's just a very special place. Tasneem, why is this the perfect family home for you? Because it's our first real home. Uh, we enjoy spending quality time together as a family and that's all that matters at the end of the day. Thank you so much for having me. I've had a wonderful time. You really turned a house into a home and I can feel the love. It was an absolute pleasure. We're so glad you liked it. With many places in the world a little upside down at the moment, it's heartening to see a young family committed to making their life in South Africa.